What's up, Aries? This is Soul. Yo, Aries, this is uh, your bi-weekly messages uh, beginning May 7th and ending May 20th, 2018. Uh, the messages will also be for Aries Moon and Aries Rising. All right, my fellow Aries, I hope all is well. Before I begin, I want to wish all those uh, Aries uh, mothers, excuse me, got my mic in the, in the way there. Airy mothers, a very happy and enjoyable Mother's Day. All right, Aries. Okay, so you got some interesting energy here as well. Let's see what's going on here. With the overall energy for some of you is uh, leading to the Fool card in the reverse. Okay, so what is it that uh, Aries is afraid of taking risk with? Let's see. Uh, let me just give you a message from what's happening back here or could have happened back here in the past. It's a completion of some Aries may have taken uh, some risk. Okay. Took that leap of faith. And that might have been well for some of you, but it may not have been something that ended up well or will be ending up well for you uh, for the rest. Because of the fact that I'm getting the death card, you have the major account of the fool in the reverse. The death card is underneath the full card and that's in the reverse now keep in mind the death card is never negative or it doesn't really mean physical death it just means there's a release and letting go of something that no longer is resonating with you and then it brings in something new okay that's in the upright position when it's in the reverse that means there's some aspect of what i'm Connecting in terms of tying in the message that there may have been an Aries or two that I'm reading for took an unnecessary risk and there was a loss. OK, now that unnecessary risk could relate to almost anything uh, business. It could be the uh, uh, relationship aspect of, you know, a romance or something like that. Or there could be. Oh, I hate to go that deep. Or a loss of a child. Now, it may not have been through physical death, but it may be the physical separation of a child. Cups represents children for me. There's an emotional loss here. And so I'm tying in these three energies here to get a message for an Aries or two that may have took some sort of um, possibly a major unnecessary risk. And it resulted in a loss with the five of cups as a loss. It, that's the emotions. Then the death card saying mm -mm, that didn't go too well. That didn't go too well. If the death card was in the upright position underneath the fool, then I would have said, okay, there was some, some sort of risk that you've taken and it's going to pay off for you, but it did, but you did suffer some sort of emotional loss. Okay. This is a complete, uh, loss here, okay, with the death card showing up in the reverse with the five of cups and the four in the reverse. Now, what does this all mean for the uh, Aries in this next two week period of time? Well, someone is um, not wanting to or willing to take any uh, risk unnecessarily, or you know, um, it's the card of a leap and you know, leap of faith. Not trusting uh, what you may uh, decide to do. This could be something that relates to uh, not taking a chance or risk with a relationship. The Five of Cups follows it. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. Maybe the exchanges of energies and may not. Then it's like. It's one of those damned if you do, damned if you don't types of energies. Because if you don't take that risk, then you're in conflict with the five of swords that follows the five of cups. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. Feeling like you're emotionally defeated, mentally challenged. I, challenged. I do feel when it comes to a relationship, I do feel that somebody, I don't know if it's you Aries doing it to someone or someone doing it to you, but somebody's playing the five of swords always gives me mind games, mind fucks. Somebody's doing something. Uh, they're playing games and uh, is creating some sort of conflict either for you or you're doing it to somebody else. See, because the back of the five of cups is to this five of swords. Someone is coming across as very emotional 
disappointed or let down. Okay. And it may be just that on its own, but it could be that because the emotional aspect of being uh, disappointed or let down because of the relationship is what's being done to them or done to you. Okay. That's the five of swords and the combination of the five of cups giving me this information. Someone is challenging or presenting a challenge. Aries doing the challenging and it's causing emotional stuff. And just to tie this in, this queen of wands underneath that five of cups will represent you. All right. And then it could also represent male energies, but it's an older feel. So it could be an older, could be the same age in terms of relationship. This also could be a parent. This could be a father. And there's some sort of stuff that's going on um, in relationship to the five of cups and then the, the five of swords. Fives and the tens, like I always say, is a potential of energy to come, but it doesn't really stick around. Five of cups, on the other hand, oh shit, you got the five of uh, cups, five of swords, and now you got the five of pentacles. I just saw that. So you have three fives here in this reading. So somebody <laughs> is dealing with something that may bring on some sort of emotional turmoil. But you have a positive card here um, and you actually have two positive cards here, actually three, because the page of cups in the reverse position is still positive. That is um, let me just stay in. Sequ sequ uh, excuse me. Let me just stay in sequence here. Five of swords mentally challenged, taking action against someone or someone's taking action against you, creating emotional possible whirlwind or turmoil the chariot for some strange reason shows up here as the positive card something positive that moves forward so even though the hesitancy um and the fool could just represent hesitancy in terms of taking a leap of faith uh whatever it is or some sort of fear or risk being involved the chariot is you know could be just a separate message and something positive moves forward cancer represents the chariot and other water signs uh scorpio and pisces male or female also the chariot shows up that there's somebody who um somebody takes a financial loss when it comes to either car repairs or or it's going to be money that's uh, needed for car repairs someone could be looking for a new car somebody could be leasing the car but whatever it is and what association that you have somebody is you got to pay for something okay this could be a speeding ticket as well with the five of pentacles underneath that chariot someone is in um need of repairing their cars paying for speeding or moving violations all right that's the chariot death card hey all right somebody is still there's a reluctance of releasing something and letting it go that's the death card in the reverse that's all i can say about the death card until you le uh, release and let go of something that may be the fear of taking risk then the death card pops up in the upright position and then there's something um in terms of new energy that comes your way so if you uh are in death mode then you know and it's tied to a relationship the queen is following that so it could be not only representing your energy but it could be an actual person uh in the developments of a new relationship it could be that aries is older someone is younger whether whether or not it's a you know water sign energy cancer scorpio or pisces with the page of cups this is a card uh, when it's in the reverse position, uh, just to show you in contrast, it's an offering of a job, possibly a new romance. And uh, first and foremost, it's the romance and then a new job or it could be the birth of a child. And the reverse is the opposite of those things. But it's still forthcoming. That's the positive aspect of the Page of Cups being in the reverse. See, because the offering is still facing in the direction of the future. So it's still coming. A new job, a new um, a birth of a child or a new romantic partnership, which could be, you know, this queen. Let me speak about the queen being very, you know, determined, very, very passionate 
and focused on going after what he or she is looking for. And that could be the relationship. That could be the job. That could be, um, you know, almost anything. There's a message here. For some, uh, Pi- um, I was going to say Pisces, for some Aries, the five of uh, pentacles is, you know, is really so <laughs> self-explanatory. You know, there's a loss here. There's like, you know, it's, it's literally being left out in the cold. Okay. This is usually a card. The Pentacles represent generosity. I feel that there is uh, the Five of Pentacles mirroring the Death card. Maybe this whole, uh, uh, not the whole reading, but f- just for one or two, you relates to. Um, oh, okay. I know what it is. Oftentimes, I'll pick up uh, completions if certain cards show up in the reverse position. So if I was going to take the fool and say that somebody took some sort of risk back here, whether it was necessary or unnecessary, that's what I got. So this five of pentacles mirroring the death card that could be in a completion that I'm reading for an Aries or two that some aspect of a financial um, situation that you may have been dealing with or, you know, is coming to an end. Okay, look at it that way. The five of pentacles. See, this is the loss. Okay, the death card. Even though it's in the uh, reverse position, I'm picking up an energy related to, uh, it's almost like a recovery of something. Even though I'm still getting, someone has to pay or put money out for car repairs or Purchasing a new car or a speeding ticket, traffic violation. I'm still getting a message here that there is a um, uh, either some sort of recovery or some sort of financial uh, situation comes to an end for some Aries. I hope that makes sense. OK, you guys got to let me know. All right. So that's what I have for you. Uh, it's pretty mixed up here. Uh, but there is a lot of passion. There's uh, this could be intense passion. Uh, this intense passion, however, could be the emotional aspect of having to deal with this five of swords stuff, too. So just keep that in mind. So it might be, um, you know, related to like uh, insane jealousy or some shit that's going on or something to create some sort of whirlwind i do feel that there's either aries is playing mind games with someone else or someone is playing mind games or mind fucking um aries okay so that's what i have for you um till i talk to you again aries i wish you all a very safe upcoming two weeks ahead And just to let you know before I close this, if anyone, if it's Aries, you playing mind games with someone or someone's playing mind games with you, that's all going to backfire. That's all going to backfire. It's going to backfire. See, I'm getting the backfire information from um, the death card. And then the death card mirrors the uh, the, um, diagonally and mirrors the chariot. It's going to backfire on you, Aries, or on the person who is playing these mind games with you. All right. So, again, happy Mother's Day. Until I talk to you again, sending you quite a bit of love and light. Be well. Bye.